The Falcons have a rare chance to pick early in the first round this year. The last time they picked in the top four was in 2008 when they selected Matt Ryan third overall. New general manager Terry Fontenot and head coach Arthur Smith have nine selections and should be able to take advantage of the superior draft position to pick up help at the skill positions, defensive line, and secondary. Ryan is still an effective quarterback. And Matt looks, shoots it in zone, and it is caught! But is on the backside of his career. It is possible, therefore, that the team will pick up another passer in the first round. But with San Francisco jumping ahead of them to grab their future signal caller, I project the Falcons will instead pick Florida tight end Kyle Pitts. Pitts creates mismatches whether lined up inside or outside and will be a big boost to the passing game for Ryan and whoever replaces him in a few years. I project the Falcons moving from the early second round into the late first to select the edge rusher that is highest on their board. That ball's loose! Jason Owe proved his elite athleticism at Penn State's Pro Day, and even though he did not earn a sack in seven games as a junior, he racked up five the previous year and has a skill set to become a thorn in quarterback sides at the next level. In the third round, Atlanta would love to add a speeding running back to pair with free agent signee Mike Davis in a remade backfield. Gets him into the end zone, touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell from Memphis is exactly that kind of dual threat. If the team moves up to grab an edge rusher in the first round, they will likely trade away their fourth round selection in the deal. But since the Falcons would only move up a few spots, they would receive a fifth or sixth round pick in return as part of the trade. Even if the Falcons are fine with Ryan as their quarterback for the next couple of years, a young passer should be on their radar at some point in this draft. They could pick Jamie Newman from Wake Forest in Georgia in the fifth round, for example, as he has the athleticism and passing acumen to fit well in Smith's offensive system. Atlanta has three fifth round picks and two sixth round selections, but sent their seventh rounder to Miami for pass rusher Charles Harris. The team will need to pick up a safety in the fifth round as well as a cornerback, receiver, and offensive line depth with their later round selections. Julio stepped on the accelerator and puts it in the end zone. 